we are going to test the script calculator. First, we hit the run, then we enter the operator as plus, and then we enter value with one, second value as two, we hit enter. And it appears there's an error in the script. So the way to find the error is look for the error message. So it says there's an error in line 32 and unrecognized variable as operator. It seems that the O should be capitalized. So we move back and change the spelling of the variable. So we save it and run the script again. So plus 1 and 2, so the answer is 3, so it's correct. So we do it again, let's see, minus, we have 12 and 3, it will be 9, that's correct. The third is the multiplication. I will have 3 and 4, the answer is 12. Last is the division. And we will enter 10 and 3. So the answer is 3.333. So all the four operations are correct. And finally, we enter a character which is not a operator. And it still asks for the values. And then the program stopped. So that's the normal behavior of the script. Next, we're going to test a few other scenarios. The first scenario is that value 2 is 0 in the division. So this is what I'm going to do, is to run the script again, it's division. So the first value is 1, the second value is 0. And it says the result is INF, which means infinity. It does not give you the error, and if you accept this answer, that would be fine. So the second scenario will be both values are zeros when the operator is division. So I will hit division, first value is zero, second value is also zero. And once again, it does not give you an error, but it says the result is NAN, which means not a number. This is the correct answer because not a number is defined as zero divided by zero. Okay, so this scenario is also good and can be handled by the script. The third scenario is that what if they enter more than one character as the operator? And I hit this and hit two, one and two, and the program stopped. It seems that it behaves correctly. So far, so good. So last scenario will be we will enter the value 1 and value 2 as an array. So in this, I run it again. And I will choose the addition as the operator. And I will get 2, 3, uh, the first value. And 3, 5, 4 as uh, the second value. So if I hit enter, then there will be an error. And this error is because, if I scroll down, and it says array have incompatible sizes, which means that we have two arrays that are different sizes, and that's why this is a source of error. So if you want to correct that, what you need to do is to modify the pseudocode and uh, eventually the MATLAB script statements to include the code that to check the size of the vectors. And if the two vectors are the same size, you can continue to do the work. Otherwise, you can have other options. For example, the first option will be uh, stop the program. Or you can say, how about I choose the smaller size vector and then take the subset from the bigger vector so that the subset will be the same size as a small uh, vector and do the operation. So there are a couple of options that you can choose uh, for the revision.
once you have made the decision how to deal with the two vectors of different sizes, then you can revise the code. So the revision code should be right after the statement here so that you can validate the size of the two vectors to make sure that they are the same size. If they are not the same size, you have an option either to uh, skip the computation of the two values, or you can force the bigger vector to conform to the size of the small vector.